What up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Today, I want to talk about Jay-Z and Nas being on a song called Sorry Not Sorry, uh, produced by DJ Khaled, also featuring Jason Faultnoroy. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, and there's a little bit of a controversy behind it. But before I go into that, please follow me on the links in the description box below. Um, you know, I'm moving my stuff and porting all my videos to places like BitChute and Odyssey because we have to fight the YouTube algorithm and censorship. Do me a favor as well. Please upvote my video by hitting the like button, the thumbs up button and sharing this video all across social media. Now, let's jump right into this shit. Like I said, DJ Khaled released a song called Sorry, Not Sorry. I guess he has an album coming out. And uh, this features Jay and Nas. And uh, we all know, if you're, if you're hip-hop heads, you know, these two have a history. And without going into all of the beefing and all that stuff it's great to see these two hip-hop heavyweights jump on a track together all right so this track finally dropped there's a video to it great video i personally like this track but there's some controversy behind it because of nas lyrics now me personally I don't think there's anything controversial behind it i don't see what the big deal is but y'all know nowadays Anything's a controversy. Anything that a few people feel some type of way about, there's a controversy about. All right, so without making this too long, there's a bar. Well, Nas and Jay, well, a lot of people are used to this with Jay-Z. They're rapping about, uh, both of them are rapping about wealth. Um, Nas has the first verse and um, he's going in rapping about wealth and investments and and um the bar in particular that got some of these niggas panties in a bunch is <laughs> he goes coinbase i'm basically the cryptocurrency scarface so that got all these motherfuckers on twitter you know these bitches these broke ass motherfuckers they're, they're little panties in a bunch their va vaginas all dry and, um, you know, he's, it, people are coming after him saying that, that is, it's dumb and it's wet. And it's like, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Um, I've talked about hip hop elitists, how much I can't stand them. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to be hypocritical because part of an elitist attitude still dwells within me. Like a lot of these people want Nas to rap like he was back uh, during the Illmatic era. And I feel that way too, personally. But I also understand in life, you kind of grow and you're not doing the same shit that you were doing back when you were fucking 16, 17, 18. You know what I mean? Um, to capture the feel of Illmatic is like capturing lightning in a bottle, you know? And, and, recreating that magic which is going to be very impossible to do um so me myself i know look i wish that could happen it's very rare but you know it, it that ain't happening nas isn't in the same mindset this guy is a multi-millionaire and much props to him uh you know this guy got hundreds of millions of dollars, not not from rap, but from investments. A lot of people forgot that this dude invested in, uh, what, what is that shit? Amazon Ring. A lot of y'all know the Amazon Ring. That's the little thing that, you know, it's like a camera for your uh, doorbell and you could have it attached to an app on your phone. So when you're at work or wherever, if someone's uh, leaving a package at your door or someone's ringing your doorbell, you can see who it is. So he invested in that shit early, got hundreds of millions of dollars through that. Now he uh, invested in uh, Coinbase, which is a uh, digital stock app. And you could you basically trade in stocks on that. And he made hundreds 
of uh, millions of dollars through that. So where do you think this nigga's mindset is going to be at? Do you understand? Like, <laughs> the dude is a businessman. Same thing with Jay. I mean, we've already known this about Jay-Z. As a matter of fact, Jay-Z just uh, closed the deal with Tidal, uh, I believe, with uh, Jack Dorsey from Twitter. $350 million. All right? So, um, <clears throat> Nas isn't going to be rapping about waving automatic guns at nuns. He's not going to be talking about... Um, going to hell for snuffing Jesus. You know what I mean? He's not doing that shit anymore or, or rapping. He's not, he doesn't have that mindset. So a lot of y'all got to stop being bitches and um, complaining about that shit. And the other thing is I believe a lot of these motherfuckers are just miserable, just broke as shit. And um, they got just nothing better to do than to hate. You know what I mean? Like, y'all motherfuckers don't even understand the knowledge that was given to you. I mean, these are the same people that were criticizing Jay-Z with, with 444. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's giving y'all little little gems in there, but y'all are laughing about this shit. This is why y'all will forever be broke. A lot of y'all are crabs in a barrel. Y'all don't know what to do with yourselves. Um, <clears throat> Nas is telling you, look, this is what I did. This is what you should be doing. And uh, let me go a little bit further. Uh, you know, during this whole COVID nonsense, this whole scamdemic, as I like to put it, um, one thing that some of y'all should have learned was how to invest, how to move with stocks. I've gotten into that. Um, I, I know a lot of other people that have gotten into that and are doing fairly decent within the market, you know, and you start to understand and learn how certain things move, uh, dividends, all this nonsense. I mean, it, look, a lot of y'all that are talking that, that are, uh, in a grind and all that shit and keep saying that shit. Why don't you look into that shit? Why don't you look in to see what Nas is talking about? See, this is a shit that drives me crazy. And, um, you know, a lot of y'all got a lot of nerve, in here talking about this dude when this is what this guy does and he's essentially telling you this you know what i mean jay-z been telling you this so i, I notice a lot of y'all ain't really saying anything about jay but when, when it comes to nas i guess a lot of y'all want him to stay in this uh, i guess this this street position and again I, like i said about myself i don't want to be a hypocrite because I used to want that. I mean, part of me still wants that for certain rappers. Like, I want certain rappers to be raw and rugged and all this shit. But I also understand the whole point of these people doing what they're doing is to get to that next level. And that's where Nas is at. He's been there. So, again, like Jay-Z says on Blueprint 3, niggas want my old shit by my old albums. And I totally, I, I totally understand that bar. You know, I mean, I used to feel some type of way about it, but I totally understand it. And y'all motherfuckers need to peep game and stop being fucking jealous as bitches. All right. So uh, props to DJ Khaled and uh, James uh, Faultnaroy and uh, Nas and Jay for making this track. I think it was dope. Um, I don't see what the big deal is. Um, again, a bunch of you bitches are just bitches for real in real life. And that's all I got to say. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick rant. Y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And that's it. All right. Peace, bitches.